today I present my paper on um, this particle object, object of uh, my research, that is um, Francis Bacon's philosophy, and in particular, Silva Silvarum. Uh, that is a late uh, work of Francis Bacon, and uh, probably the most uh, original one of this philosopher, this science philosopher. And um, what I want to say, first of all, is that um, my presentation is maybe the less Cartesian one, because uh, I my speech is uh, on uh, on Francis Bacon and on Silva Silvarum, and um, I will try to sketch a portrait of uh, Francis Bacon uh, philosophy, and in particular of a non-definable, exactly definable uh, object subject of my research and Bacon's research also, that is uh, medicine. What is medicine uh, in Francis Bacon? It's something really particular, peculiar. So because uh, mm, also Bacon himself was not so aware of his contribution in the medical field. And this is uh, an interesting point of reflection because uh, his legacy in the history of um, thought in general, of scientific thought in particular, um, is related also to the medical field. And um, I will uh, try to draw some lines. I, I will try to do this, some lines with the uh, you know, René Descartes reflection and um, medical thought um, in both senses, in both directions, uh, so to speak. Um, by analogies and differences um, of the two ones. So um, uh, I have prepared uh, some slides, eight slides uh, on this subject, uh, trying to uh, explain what um, Bacon's medicine is, in particular in Silva Zildar. Um, as uh, we have read on my paper, I, my dissertation, my thesis dissertation, a graduation dissertation subject um, was this, Simpsons Barma uh, from Francis Bacon, and Francis Bacon, and in particular the second edition of this work in 1728. Uh, uh, so first of all, I want to say that the Baconian philosophy in general is a medicine itself, and that's because of this uh, famous theory uh, of Idola. Uh, as exposed in uh, also in the of Morganum and uh, um, uh, some uh, some lines repeated in Silva Silva. Um, why uh, medicine is philosophy itself, and philosophy is a medicine itself for Bacon, because we have to um, carry on uh, a critic of impure reason, as I could say. Um, uh, that's why we have to um, clean uh, our hard disk, as we can say, our mind, um, from idola and from um, any kind of object is uh, uh, simply more, is simply additional to mind's correspondence to nature. So in the Bacon's idea, and this is um, and this is emerging on Silva Silvarum also. Uh, mind is uh, the equivalent of nature and uh, vice versa. Uh, so uh, the correspondence between uh, mind and nature is the main goal of Baconian medicine in general. So we have to uh, cure, and uh, the only uh, meaning of therapy in uh, Francis Bacon's philosophy, Silva Silvarum also is to reach um, how to clean up uh, our mind. And this is a, a typical um, medical objective and goal. So Baconian medicine um, has some points, some stressing points that I brief, uh, explain and uh, recall in this, in this occasion. And uh, um, I, said about uh, um, its uh, premise and goal, and main goal. Um, I have to say that uh, this medicine, Baconian medicine, is uh, especially based on spirits and humors. So a typical Renaissance theory. Uh, Bacon uh, based this medicine and this contribution 
on the philosophy of nature and medicine that are strictly related for him, uh, on uh, spirits and human theory. And um, uh, he distinguishes uh, spirits, um, both uh, of life and uh, uh, the immortal spirits, so-called, in order to their activity, in order to explain their activity. Their activity. Uh, so um, the activity of spirits and uh, the activity of medicine is um, try to restore um, the identity of body, of the matter, so uh, to the original condition by uh, driving spirits, by driving spirits. And this is a particular image because spirit and spirits in general are in a human body um, like uh, a caged lion, as I can say, uh, because um, human life is an exception. And this is a condition um, in which spirits want to, uh, always want to escape, escape from body and body is restraining them. Um, offering them a reason to stay. And uh, this reason is uh, by nourishment in general and the uh, lifestyle. Uh, so identity and restoration is another fundamental point of the economic medicine. Uh, which processes um, on this kind of um, science and medicine in the economy? Vivification, predation, and balance. Balance is the main goal. So what human life from a medical perspective in Bacon sees. Human life is an exception, uh, a continuum, I can say, uh, in a material state. The matter in general is the base of universe. And also human matter, uh, human matter, so human body, uh, is matter. Uh, that lies on a balance. Uh, and this balance is constituted by life. And uh, this balance is during and during death, of course. Uh, which energies are uh, acting in particular in Bacon and medicine? Heat and cold, of course, and this is also typical of um, Renaissance medicine. Um, by a critic of pure reason and by uh, focusing on these points, we can say that uh, we have a um, portrait in general of what, uh, of which image Bacon's through Silva Sivar also. Uh, give us of um, health in general. Um, between ancient and modern, uh, as I can say, and I, like I say also in my paper, um, Francis Bacon is maybe the last of ancient and the first of modern because of this sudden death and in 1626, uh, and because he um, links uh, an ancient uh, typical Renaissance medicine, medicine and tradition uh, to a modern, completely modern, uh, new and scientific one. So he was anticipating uh, Cartesian reflection and thought in general by uh, maybe another main goal in uh, uh, Baconian medicine, that is matter and prolongation of life. Prolongation of life in general is uh, repeated. Uh, this concept also in Silva Silvarum is the main contribution of medicine and science in general um, because uh, Bacon is particularly uh, interested in um, uh, give, giving us uh, boundaries, um, as I can say, to human life. Uh, so, uh, life, death, euthanasy, life as an exception. Uh, these three concepts um, give us a strong idea of what, uh, briefly, you can say, um, medical uh, perspective in Francis Bacon's Silva Silvarum is. Life is an exception. Uh, so death is a normal condition for human matter and matter in general. Uh, the, mo the movement of resistance to movement is, like Bacon says, in um, Novum Organum, uh, the main movement, the most important movement of matter in general. So human matter, human body uh, also. Uh, life is so an exception, a biological exception uh, from between these two points, 
life and death. Uh, with a particular tool, um, it's well known that uh, Bacon uh, was the first theorizing eutanasy uh, as a duty for a medical practitioner. So to, um, according to his vision of pain, um, as a, a condition that a medical practitioner has have to has to prevent and uh, to avoid in general, eutanasy is a possibility uh, that um, moves uh, also towards uh, medical duties, medical function, medical protection function in particular. So another main um, subject in uh, Bacon's medicine, it is, is clear in Silva Silvarum is uh, um, full phenomenology of old age. Old age uh, is the subject strictly related with um, another one, uh, with uh, the one of boundaries of human life. Uh, so this is a particular point of view and uh, a very important matter, a very important subject um, in the life of matter in general for Francis Bacon. Um, human matter, human body uh, stays, relies upon um, a particular condition uh, moved by spirits in general and humans in general, uh, moved by pathologies that uh, um, relies on uh, quiet and movement. Uh, real nature of human life is quite a real, con a real condition, uh, the best condition for human matter, so for human body, is the quiet, um, the inorganic, an inorganic condition. And uh, movement is the only product of uh, appetites of spirits, as Bacon says in his uh, uh, phenomenology of matter and of old age, of course. Appetites and desires are the two conditions that determine at all uh, human life and the uh, life of spirits and humans um, moving on, moving through the human body. So a uh, medical practitioner has the ability to, is uh, able to um, move from different perspectives and uh, toward the, uh, different directions, these movements. And uh, this is uh, really important because this is determining uh, the condition of human life uh, as a continuum with other matter universal in general. So the faculty of perception is fundamental in Bacon's Silva Silvarum, as we can see also in particular in the uh, ninth century, to cause uh, giving us um, a common condition, uh, a condition shared by um, a human body and uh, also in animal bodies, uh, that is perception that uh, um, is before sensation. Uh, only sensation is typical of humans. Perception is shared by uh, human beings, human bodies, and other bodies in the universe. Uh, the most particular movement of matter, so the movement also of the human body, is the resistance to movement. And this sounds paradoxical because our real condition is for Bacon, uh, the condition, the condition um, to stay. So uh, a main interest for Baconian medicine is to establish uh, what exactly life is from a biological point of view and uh, taking into account that uh, um, we have to rest, that we will rest, and this is the important, the most, uh, most natural conditions, conditions for, from our matter. Um, the main elements and tools, as I can say, of Baconian medicine, um, diet. Uh, these are some examples of experiments uh, Bacon carries on uh, on Silva Silvarum. Um, in uh, about a hundred experiments, 96, uh, 97, sorry, um, uh, experiments uh, taking into account medical aspects in general, in particular. Uh, these experiments um, regard uh, diet, for example, 
nourishment, nourishment of organs, which is strictly related um, to diet. Lifestyle, a philosophical lifestyle, uh, lifestyle of monks, for example, is uh, um, recommended by Bacon as a good style uh, um, lifestyle, for example. Uh, Bacon is, uh, as a, a full knowledge of pharmacopoeia, um, of pharmacopoeia at, uh, um, in particular, and in particular of opiates, uh, that are um, good medicines in order to activate uh, the spirits, in order to condensate the spirits. And this is the main operation we, operations we have to uh, take in, uh, into account uh, to uh, produce medical effects, so in the practical of medicine. Another experiment is uh, more than one, to tell the truth, is um, about uh, the so-called pilum medicinale, that is a latent expression to indicate uh, this important element of Baconian, of Baconian medicine. Uh, medicine and uh, herbs uh, fruits uh, in general um, have an order uh, of assumption, of course. So uh, there are medicines that uh, um, taking uh, in the in an incorrect service association or taking themselves uh, are not good, and uh, mm, this is important in order to establish. Uh, some receipts that Bacon offers us uh, in order to assume some medicine. Uh, another important element is the one of imagination. And this is a typical Renaissance, typical natural magic uh, subject. Because uh, even if uh, Bacon's, Bacon is um, suspecting of uh, tradition, um, of magic natural, uh, especially of magic natural, um, his view, his um, his intent is to represent it by an effort to understand uh, the past legacy in general, the magic natural in general, and to reuse some concepts of this, some tools of this, in order to um, improve medical practice. So, in other words, uh, Bacon recognizes imagination power, uh, virtues uh, such as sympathy and antipathy, and uh, attraction, uh, repulsion, uh, between among elements in general. And this is, uh, can, this can produce uh, good health uh, or not. So, uh, medical practitioner, in uh, order to in a Baconian, Baconian, view, a Baconian view, is the best example of a practitioner. Uh, that's why the practitioner is uh, the new um, scientist for Bacon. The medical one is the best one because he uh, produces um, the so-called superinduction. Uh, so by an inductive method, it is the Baconian one from particular to general, a superinductor, like uh, the medical practitioner, is someone that can change the matter, so the human matter also. And this is another uh, really important point of this reflection that uh, Bacon explains in Silva Silvarum. Uh, Silva Silvarum um, was a really strange work, peculiar work of Francis Bacon, because um, it consists of uh, thousands of experiments. Uh, about a hundred of these are medical experiments. And uh, they um, speak about this concept I've expressed above um, uh, that uh, made Bacon, uh, as I've said, uh, maybe more the last of ancient, of ancients from this point of view, from this point of view, that the first of modern. Um, Bacon is uh, more similar to Descartes in uh, his effort to give, uh, I can say, a new foundation to past knowledge. So um, 
is breaking with the past is not so absolute as we can believe uh, from a theory of idola, for example. In uh, Bacon's medical thought, you can observe that uh, uh, this Bacon's effort to link, to take into account, uh, to take together, as we can say, uh, past knowledge and a new method. The last one um, relates him to the card. The first one is the one that uh, relates Bacon to uh, ancient philosophy of nature and uh, Renaissance philosophy of nature also. Uh, for example, the theory of six non-naturals, of course. Um, I've tried to uh, draw some lines uh, between uh, Bacon's and Descartes' systems. So uh, which elements for comparison? Uh, I have tried to um, detail uh, this concept uh, also uh, regarding the card in my paper. Um, in what I can say in 20 minutes is briefly said by these points. The first one, mind. Um, the mind equivalence uh, um, with nature is the best definition of mind and of nature also in Bacon. In the card, uh, mind is of course uh, really, really important as res cogitans uh, that is um, separated all by res resistenza. And the communication between uh, these two is sometimes very difficult. So I can say that uh, uh, mind and nature uh, correspondence determines that uh, um, uh, in Bacon, nature is mind. Uh, so two submissions, why? Uh, the Bacon's one is a mind completely um, submitted uh, because corresponding with nature. Um, in the card, the submission is the one of nature to mind. And also, uh, I think the real difficult uh, for these two elements to communicate each other. So two different confirmations also, confirmations. The Baconian one, is nature that uh, confirm or not, of course, uh, as in the case of Idola, uh, what um, mind in its correspondence uh, suggests. Um, on the other end, um, the card confirmations uh, consists, in my opinion, in particular, in the confirmation um, obtained by the experiment, by experiments in general, scientific experiments and medical experiments. So the idea that the way uh, through which um, cogito, res cogitans, is representing the reality and also nature is uh, need, uh, needs to be confirmed, as Descartes says, uh, by experiments in general, and uh, also medical theory. Uh, which more tools that um, Descartes um, takes into account and Bacon cannot, um, such as uh, the one of anatomy, for example, and uh, such as the uh, atypical mechanical and mathematical science, for example, the Descartes one, not the Bacon one. Uh, an exempt uh, science, the Descartes one, not the Bacon one, it was exposed. So I, I've tried to define uh, the relationship between empiricism and subjectivism in uh, both in Bacon and Descartes by a strict link um, in all of the two uh, between theory and practice. So I tried in my paper to demonstrate in some way, I tried to do this, that, that uh, Bacon is more theoretical, as I can say, uh, then we believe that is uh, in general believed, and the cut is more practical that in general that in general is believed. Uh, the meeting point between the two, I think, uh, as we can uh, demonstrate, I I can say also in this conference, um, the between link uh, the link between the two is in particular the medical field because uh, represents, in my opinion, a good meeting point 
between uh, the experiment in bacon and the experiment in the car. So the experiment, the experimental point, is the meeting point between the two. Uh, they all, of course, uh, share the the main uh, the main goal that is rebuilding knowledge and the scientific knowledge in general. I think this is really important. Um, in Silva Silvarum, all of these aspects of medical science in Francis Bacon are clearly emerging by um, many and many experiments. I cited just, just, uh, I just cited um, uh, some experiments I, um, I've said about uh, some of these that are treating the particular Bacon's vision of medicine, uh, for example, on the alterations of bodies, for example, on preservation of bodies, on preservation of metals, for example, on polging medicines, for example, on sympathy and antipathy, as I've said, on infectious diseases, for example, and so on. I think this is a good point uh, to start on this um, concept, this thing. An empirical subjectivism, the uh, Baconian one, and a subjective empiricism, uh, so to speak, from the car. And this is a, a good um, point to discuss in this conference uh, from an external point of view, because uh, Bacon and Descartes are, uh, as I uh, tried to demonstrate, really different in the approaches, in the method, in representing an ex-ante and ex post science, but um, uh, they have, both of them have uh, uh, more than someone point in common. Okay, I see Fabrizio, um, Calling me, my due to my time is uh, is over, and uh, I hope to I, I was uh, clear and uh, uh, of course I have to tr I tried to draw some lines of a very very specific uh, specialistic reflection in order to analyze Bacon's medicine and of course. Uh, the Cartesian one.